Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. And today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using a set of dies from the ornate ornate garden dies. I've had them a little while but um, I haven't used them. So I thought I'd better use them. And as usual, I forgot the name of them. So I'm just looking to see what they're called. Ornate layer, layers dies. They go with the ornate thanks or garden bundle. But I just bought the dies because I like these kind of dies and I used as you can see there's still a bit in it these dies or this die and I can't find my pokey tool wherever it is oh well Just have to stay there till I find my pokey tool, but there is a no, it's gonna annoy me. There you are. Yeah, so I use this one. This is the second biggest frilly one I call it. Yeah. So that's what this bit is, and I've already cut it out, it's here. The palm trees come from Timeless Tropical, so I'll be stamping that out. And the deck chair and the glass of summer and coke come from Colourful Season. And, oh, I've got the dice out already. Which are here. And the word Aloha as well. I just thought I'd do a summary card, you know. Can't go on holiday. So, I don't want. Now, cards I've used just a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and burnished. And then I put this on top of that. No layering, nothing. Do it this way. I've also got a piece of card for the background, and this measures two and a quarter by three and five eighths, and that fits just inside there. I've got a scrap for the deck chair. We're going to have a melon mambo deck chair. I've got a scrap of white for the palm tree. I've got a scrap of pretty peacock, because that's what this is, for the aloha. So first of all, we'll do the background. Right, to do the background, I'm using soft seaside spray, pretty peacock, and crumb cake. So let's open them up. And some brushes. I'm going to be using my other makeup brushes today. Make sure they're all clean. They are. So, first of all, we're going to do the sky. I'm going to do this one for the sky. Pick up some 
Seaside Spray ink. And we're only going to do a third of it. And just brush it up. Just want a bit of the sky. It's a bit red. Let's turn that over. Get another one. Do a third of it. There's our sky. Right. Now I'm going to do the sea, no not the sea, the sand, so crumb cake and oh, I'm getting ink all over the place, there's my sand and now I'm using a long brush because I want to put a straight line for the C. See, we're using this, I've got different strokes, so it makes look looks like the sea's moving. Now I've got a big dirty mark there but what I'm going to do I'm going to put the palm tree that side and the deck chair that side or the garden chair whatever you want to call it that side so you can cover up your mistakes that way I'll leave that one open because we need that again. I don't need these. So that's my background. Um, I'll just leave that there. Now for the palm tree, we need some old olive. And what I'm going to do is Old olive on the trunks. No, not old olive. Um, crumb cake on the trunks. Just clean up the stump where it's gone on the palms. Now we know that some of the green is going to go on the trunk, but we can't help that. Right, and just stamp it down. And there's our palm trees, which actually turned out better than the first one that did. Oh yeah, so I don't need the old olive anymore, I need to cut that out with that and I need 
my cutting machine. I never brought that down. Right. Stick that on there. Just goes in there nicely. Right, what I'm going to do is put the cup on there. Place that on there like that. And run it through. There's my tree. And there's my little cup. With this little cup, before I go any further, what I did, I dumped, dipped half of it in my crumb cake ink to get the Coca-Cola. Well, that was stiff. Don't need that no more. Don't need that. Right, this. And a bit of... My Aloha Aloha moved. That's it. Take out the bits. this back in, bring our centipedes back in and I'm going to put the tree that side and the chair that side. And the little boozy cup. That's what it'll sort of look like. So let's get gluing things down. These are going on dimensionals. 
this isn't. Just put in some dots on the corners, edges and to glue this in the middle of the card. Like that. And then I'll get some dimensionals. Do the trunks, I just cut a thin piece off the edge of the dimensional square and stuck it down Ooh, a little bit too long. Just right size for that glass, that. Right, I oh, need another little bit. Now we've got to do the same, again cut off a, you might think this is really fiddly but I don't mind doing it like this. Got to work at it to get the results you want. tiny bit. This is when it gets fiddly. Cutting, in, cutting off these little tiny bits to go on the arm of the chair.
Oh, you can see that bit. That's better. Now, did I put anything? I did. Right, some little tiny bits. I put on the top of the chair. I'm oh. showing you where my. Hang on, let's see if I can find it. Found it. So I'm sure I used that before to help me. side Where's that gone? Bits underneath them moved. I won't bother with them. Right, let's get rid of them. And my little glass, nearly threw that away. Which has got a tiny bit of that needs a bit more on it. That little bit's no good. Just got the word aloha to put on, which are glued. I think I'm daft enough to try and get dimensionals on that. Well, I am, but don't tell everybody. Now this card, because aloha means hello, so it can be used for anything, really. Um, I'm 
just going to put this inside. I'm not stamping on anything. So there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. If you um, press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.